Thousands of flights were either canceled or delayed across the nation today. Ford Airport, one of the places affected today, only one runway was open at GRR because of blowing and drifting snow. Plow crews call that contamination. And today, 24 Hour News 8 Steve Kelso is digging in to find out more about the effort to keep travelers safe. It's been a nonstop, around the clock job for these guys. Today, I got a chance to tag along. We could spend 12, 16 hours in this. And today, that's not going to be enough. Even if the snow would stop, the wind just won't. Floor 31 holding short of 26 left. With an army of equipment and an experienced crew. We got it down to a science. Jeff Phillips and the field maintenance workers at Gerald R. Ford International are doing their best just to keep up. Yeah, we're moving pretty good today, but, you know, the more snow we get, it slows us down just a little bit. It's a bit of a surprise to Phillips that he's been on this job for 16 years, especially when he remembers his very first storm on his very first day. If I could have found my way back to the shop, I probably that probably would have been my last day here because it was just... It's just so intense. Today, well, it isn't much better, but the equipment is. She's pretty smooth ride though, isn't she? He's on board the biggest, baddest blowing machine the county owns. It is cool. 2,000 tons of snow an hour get blasted by this beast. Add that up in this season alone. I've put about 300,000 tons of snow through this chute. Other plows deliver the snow to blower 31. And I can just launch it. And when you talk to Jeff Phillips, it's pretty obvious he loves this work. Not bad for a guy who almost quit day one. You know, here I am 16 years later. I'm glad I stuck with it. And, it, you know, it, we really enjoy what we do. In Grand Rapids, Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8.